Hey. There we go. He's in. Talking to Ty Lopez. He jumps on. What's up, everybody? I'm uh, sharing all the secrets, Ty. We were hoping you wouldn't join. Now everyone knows the secrets. There you go. All right. <laughs> for a second see what's up i'm on the i'm in the truck here on the fall on one of my farms this is a different farm but uh listening to mr rudy he got a lot of good stuff to talk about and uh one thing i'll you know e-com traffic marketing just i'm buying a lot of companies and i just see how big the need is like so for example i just closed yesterday i just wired 31 million dollars to buy pier one which um, is a big, both physical brick and mortar store, but also e-com. And so we're going to take it, you know, Alex and I's plan is to take Pier 1 and to selling furniture 100% online. And you know what's hard to find? Good marketing people. <laughs> so, you know, you can learn marketing from what Rudy's talking about, you know, the things that I've learned, the things that he's learned. You can use it both for yourself, obviously, um, and your own brands and your own businesses, but you can also launch agencies, do it for other people. So marketing is just one of those skills. It's just, it's not the only business skill you need. As you become more and more advanced in business, you're going to need other skills, understanding negotiations and legal side and accounting and taxes and, you know, and web design and all this stuff. But really the place to start, okay, the place to start is to start with marketing because it's doable. It's doable for anybody. You don't even need a college degree. This is a farm that I bought. It's 110 acres near my other farm. I'll show you. It's cool. There's deer everywhere. We planted it to mill it just to create wildlife feed for this year. And oats, these are oats. They're a little bit weedy, but we'll bale it up. The horses will eat it. But anyway, marketing marketing's the key you know because if i had to start with one skill it'd be sales and marketing it's easier to do you could do it anywhere in the world it's not the learning curve is not impossible some stuff that i'm doing now in business will take you 10 years to learn in business you know complex negotiations and complex tax stuff all that kind of stuff worry about that later now build one solid skill and it can take you through all your full evolution as a business owner and entrepreneur, you know, the full evolution to me, it starts, it's like the egg, the chicken and the egg, the egg is for most people start with marketing, social media, virality, understanding human psychology. And then a lot of things are downhill from there or they're uphill, but marketing is the impetus that gets it all going. So I'm going to let, I'm going to let Rudy finish this. I just wanted to pop in. I'm here checking to see. There were, there, this farm, I bet you, has 150 deer because over there, there's a huge piece. My neighbors keep it all in brush. So I've seen, like, I saw 22 deer. You rarely see that many. So this is a nice part. Make money so that you can, not just so you can be greedy, but so you can do cool things. Like, you know, I like to buy farmland and try to improve it, restore it. Um, a lot of farmland in the world has been run down and exploited, you know, so you can heal the land. That's what my first mentor told me, Joel Salatin. But all that takes cash flow. And the simplest way to create cash flow is be good at marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Rudy, take it away. But yeah, my name's Rudy. So I'm going to teach you today Facebook ads, like uh, YouTube ads, but not just like how to set them up. I'm not going to go quite there. I'm actually going to teach you, I think, mean, better than that. I'm going to teach you kind of the key principles, the five key principles, okay? So I kind of, whenever I do trainings, I try and follow the analogy of like, you can give, you know, the man a fish or teach him how to fish so he can feed his family forever. I like that analogy. That's my goal with all my trainings is not to just show you how to like set up one ad. It's like to teach you how to understand ads at a really high level. So you can go and run ads forever, learn how to do ads, do ads for other companies, learn how to add, make advertising successful. So an advertising is one of the hardest things to get right. Like a lot of people don't do it because they can't make money on Facebook, for example. Right. But it's kind of like a, I say it's like a necessary evil. It's like eating your vegetables every day. It's not the most exciting thing to spend money and maybe not make money back. 
But when you get it right, it allows you to explode businesses. Okay. That's kind of what, um, you know, what we do with some of the brands at Ty Lopez, some of my own brands. I've had an agency before working with Ty. I scaled a lot of brands, you know, I had a lot of seven, eight figure clients. Okay. So, you know, if you've not ran ads recently or you've tried it and not done well with them, or you're scared to try it, then don't worry, because I think what I'm going to teach today is going to give you kind of insight as to like where you've been going wrong. Um, you know, where you've been going wrong, where maybe, um, you can kind of tweak them or, or if you're just starting what you really need to know to get it right based on tens of millions of dollars in advertising spend. Okay. I've been doing this for nine years or so. I've spent, um, you know, tens of millions on, on advertising. Uh, I've done it for a very, very, very long time. So I got a lot of great stuff to share with you today. So let me pull up my slides. Um, okay. And yeah, like I said, time might jump in in a minute or a little later, I see questions mounting up as well. So if you have questions, uh, I will get to them at the end. We might, we'll either do them at the end. I might break in the middle to do them. And uh, yeah, any support questions, I would love to help. Um, I can't help like support directly, right? I don't work in the support. I run a lot of ties marketing. Um, I will make sure someone on support helps you. We'll take any notes. So try and keep the chat more for marketing for today for, you know, for what I'm going to teach just so it's relevant for everyone. But yeah, let me share my screen. Should be able to see the screen now. Um, okay. So like I said, teaching you ads and, and the cool thing too about if you didn't see kind of on the emails or however you came into this training today, I'm going to share kind of behind the scenes stuff. Okay. Ty, if you follow Ty, just type yes in chat. If you follow Ty for a couple of years or more, like if you've been a fan or follower or on his programs for more than a couple of years. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Scott, Ollie. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of you. Okay. So if you follow Ty for a couple of years or more, I mean, I have, I, I actually took one of his courses that helped me grow my agency. Um, but if you follow Ty for a long time, what's the one thing he's never maybe shared? What's the one thing he's never taught on or trained on or shown you how to do? If you kind of look, you know, you even go to tylopez.com. What's the one thing that's kind of missing in growing a business? If you look at tylopez.com, teaches affiliate marketing, teaches how to build agencies, SMMA, teaches Airbnb stuff, Amazon, there's a lot he teaches, right? He took personal development, mindset. One thing missing, in my opinion, was how to run ads, right? So that's the biggest thing. If you want to get, like, boost sales, like learning how to build a website is really important. Learning how to get affiliates is really important. But ultimately, if you can control how many people come to your website and buy every day, then it gives you this infinite tool of growth, okay? So I said time, I mean, it's about time. And I kind of twisted his arm a little. Um, you know, so he, he, after some discussions, he was, uh, you know, willing and able for us to share this. Okay. First time ever that we've done a full course, um, and a full training for you guys on ads. Okay. And, and what I wanted to do is not just teach you ads. Like you can go on YouTube and watch how to set up ads. I wanted to give you tips and insider kind of information and training on exactly how we do it at tylopez.com. So kind of make it relevant, right? You're all fans. It's cooler to see exactly how we do it here versus just general big picture that you could watch on YouTube. Okay. So what you're going to discover on this free training, I'm going to talk to you a little about why organic traffic's dead. Okay. So that's a bold statement. I totally get it. So give me, uh, give me time to explain that in a little bit or why blogging probably isn't the best way to be successful and grow a business in 2020. I'm going to talk about why SEO, so search engine optimization, why I think that's a long and slow route to take if you're trying to grow a business, and even why having millions of followers um, isn't the answer, right? So you might think, well, Rudy, this is great, but if I had millions of followers like, uh, you know, like Ty, then I could just, you know, I wouldn't need traffic, okay? But Ty runs a lot of ads, so just think about that for a second. Ty has 10 million followers. Not many people in the world, like in the marketing business space that have that many followers, if you think about it. But Ty spends a lot of money on ads. He's still one of the biggest advertisers. So if he's doing it with 10 million plus followers, there's a reason, right? 
And then how and why you can use paid traffic, i.e. ads, to rapidly grow brands like Ty's doing, like I'm doing. Um, and then a behind the scenes look. So, uh, you know, how we set up the ads and how we kind of strategically plan the ads and the five key things to be successful. So five key things for winning ads, okay? So I hope you guys are excited. I'm very excited to share this with you. I, I like this kind of more personal stuff, you know, stuff that's really going on right now in the business that we're literally doing, like literally every single day we're doing this. So I'm going to share with you, okay? So I hope you guys are excited. Type yes in chat if you're excited, just so I get a sense of who's looking forward to this. Okay, good, a lot of you. Good. <clears throat> right. So why should you listen? I know I'm not Ty Lopez. I kind of, we have somewhat similar hair. And if I put my glasses on, some people say I look a little like him, but why should you listen? Well, you know, Ty has spent millions and tens of millions and hundreds of millions on ads. Okay. I've spent tens of millions alone. I now run a lot of the ads for tylopez.com. He trusts me to do that. Me and Ty have an agency together. We're business partners together and think about it. He could share you know, he could kind of share and work and, and train and partner up with anyone in the world, but me and him work together. So he trusts me. I want you guys to trust me. Um, you know, he trusts me to host this training to all of his best kind of followers and fans and members, right? So just know that what I'm training you on today is exactly what kind of Ty approves and lets me do in his own business, right? So I don't think you can get any more proof than that. You know, one of the first, Ty was probably one of, literally one of the first, um, to run Facebook, Google, YouTube ads. I was pretty close behind. I've been doing it for nine years. I got my first ad account ban like eight years ago. So I get like a sticker for that. You know, like when you go to the dentist as a kid, I mean, if you get your ad accounts banned, you get stickers for it these days. Um, and then, you know, Ty as a business, tylopez.com has built some of the most successful ads in history, right? Like the here in my garage one, you guys probably know that ad. Over 60 million views billions of impressions, right? So it's kind of crazy how, you know, some of those videos have kind of, you know, fast-tracked highlopez.com into success, right? Because, you know, if you can reach more people, you basically grow a business faster, okay? And that's the stuff I want to share you, with you guys. That's the stuff that we've never really shared because it's almost kind of, without sounding cheesy, it's kind of important. It's top secret. We don't want to be sharing exactly how we set up the ads, plan the ads, right? Because other big competitors, people doing 10, 20 million can copy this. They can, I'm sure a few of them are on this training right now. Okay. So, um, like I said, why are we teaching it? Well, the last couple of months we launched ECS. I'm sure a lot of you, uh, was kind of, you, you know, on ECS or at least aware of it, e-commerce certified specialist. It was probably one of the most successful programs we've We've done at tylopez.com in the last couple of years. I spoke, I, I trained a lot of you on that, if you're on that. But what it didn't teach as in depth as I would like is the traffic part, the ad side, right? So, and you know, you just physically can't. We were teaching how to build stores, how to plan a store, a whole business online almost, right? So we still trained on traffic, but I wanted to do more training specifically on Facebook ads, on setting up ads, okay? So it's the next logical step. And then um, I also think that it's a rare opportunity, okay? So you guys know what's happening in the world, obviously. And the interesting thing that's happening right now is all the big advertisers are actually pulling off Facebook. If you Google it, companies, not, companies that pulled advertising, you'll see that pretty much every big, um, you know, pretty much every big company pulled off it. And that's actually good for us, the little guys, okay? Because if Coca-Cola and Apple and all these big companies stop advertising, it frees up more ad space. And the ad space is like an auction, right? If any of you have ever been to an auction or at least know what it is, the more bidders and the people with more money tend to win, right? Because if someone has a billion dollars and they go and bid on a car at an auction and I turn up, they're probably gonna outbid me. Just They just have more money, right? So it's kind of like that with us right now on the ad platform. People like me, people like Ty, the small business owners, the entrepreneurs, are actually scaling brands really, really fast because ads are cheaper. There's all this advertising space. So if you've ever been thinking about going and testing ads in your business, you ever wanted to try it, maybe you wanted to do it for other people, because remember every physical business in the world right now, they're looking for advertisers, people out there. There's never, I encourage you to do it. I, there's never been a better time. Costs are lowest. 
every on every business in the world wants to scale more online how do they do that with ads they can't blog they can't do seo etc those processes take years okay um and like i said ty was almost hesitant about teaching this but we wanted to pull back the curtain show you guys because i think it's the best time i think you guys deserve you know the fans of ty the members that have been with him i think it's um yeah i think it's one of the best times to learn right so um <clears throat> okay so no, paid versus non-paid right you have two options um so you might be thinking well rudy i don't need to run ads i can still do organic uh, i could blog blah 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 so let me just address that because some people still think that okay and i'm not saying these ideas are like useless they can work but what i explain is these should be add-ons okay so what should happen in my opinion is like you get paid ads working you make in sales every day with your online business right because it's consistent you have the ad set up the sales come in because the traffic is coming in every single day now when you get to that point and you're doing well and you have spare money in a team that's when you can maybe say okay well now i want to start a blog because i can just pay someone to do it and even if it takes a year to start getting hits it doesn't matter because i have a machine that's already working for me okay it, but most people do it the other way around, right? They like, don't start paid ads that can start generating traffic from tomorrow. They'll instead spend, you know, six months trying to blog and do SEO for their business and pay influencers and then wonder why their business is just going nowhere and they're not making any sales. It's because they've been trying to do stuff that can take months or even years to work, okay? So just raise your hand or say yes, if that's kind of what you've done in the past. Because I admit, I used to do this like eight years ago before I got started here. It was the same for me too. Like I tried to blog, I tried to do SEO before I realized that I could go on Facebook, put in my ads, right? I could put in what I wanted to do. I could put my budget and then I could just get people to my website the very next day. I was like, why didn't I do this all along? It makes so much more sense, okay? So that's the benefit of paid, right? I see some of you guys in chat saying, I'm just starting, uh, I'm just starting out. So if you guys are starting out, you have two options. You can do non-paid where you write blogs and blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't cost money, but it costs time, right? Writing a blog and doing SEO costs you three hours a day. How much is your time worth? It's, you know, time is valuable asset. Whereas paid, you can set up paid traffic tomorrow, you know, today and tomorrow you can have clicks and people real people from whatever country or city in the world you want with whatever interest say you hey, say hey i want people that are interested in weight watchers you can have real people that are targeted on your website ready to buy the very next day it's a faster way to grow and if you have seen anything about entrepreneurship go look at any of the biggest entrepreneurs in the world they all tell you money loves speed right the people that can scale the fastest, make the most sales and grow the business the fastest, make the most money, okay? So uh, paid traffic, you know, it allows you to stand out, it allows you to appear first, you can get almost same day results, right? You can get clicks within hours of, uh, you know, setting it up and, um, you know, and then kind of going live and it's very scalable, okay? So, this is why, you know, why do people fail online? Okay, hope maybe this applies to you. Um, so, you know, you're gonna kind of research the products to sell, that's good. Hopefully you guys are doing that. You're gonna get a great website built. Hopefully you guys are doing that. You're gonna get the good plugins installed. So you're gonna get, for example, you're gonna get exit pop-ups. You're gonna have a nice sales page, a cart page. You're gonna kind of get that set up. Hopefully you guys have got that right, because that's part of it. And then where do you go wrong? So you don't get enough eyeballs on the website, okay? A lot of you might have businesses right now or you might be ready to start a business, but you don't have enough eyeballs, enough people on that website, okay? That's really important because if you can have the best website in the world, the best product or service or offer in the world, and if you can't get people to that website, then you're not gonna sell. Now, you might say, well, Rudy, I'm not looking to build a website right now. I wanna do this for other people. Well, use that same analogy with people you want to do this for. If you're trying to work as a consultant or an agency or a marketer, think about that for other businesses. They all need more people online. Literally every single, I don't think there's any business in the world that says, I don't want any more people on my website. Stop getting people on my website. Okay. Like it doesn't happen. It's not a thing. So every business out there 
needs more website traffic. It needs more people, right? So <laughs> that's kind of a, a foundation, right? Hopefully you guys are still with me. You see the pros and cons because I, I want to be impartial. I like, you know, I like, um, I, I like organic. It can work as an add-on, but it's not going to be the main driver, right? So hopefully you see the foundation, the pros and cons. Now I'll kind of share with you the key things, okay? I'll share with you, um, you know, I'll share with you why pay traffic can be faster and how to set it up correctly, okay? So the first, you know, there's five key things I wanted to teach you today. Obviously, I can't teach you everything. So I wanted to teach you the fundamentals that you guys can apply, um, you know, going forward, right? So I'm going to go for each one in a little more detail, but just big picture so you guys can understand. Um, the five big things I want to share today is the first one is model what's working, okay? Don't try and reinvent the wheel when you're advertising. Second one is testing different angles and scaling the winners. If any of you have ever advertised before, you'll know one big problem with advertising is if you get some sales, that's great, but it's very hard to go from like five or 10 sales a day to like 50 or 100, right? So if any of you have done that before, I'm going to show you how to do that. If any of you, if you haven't done that before, then I'm going to show you if you do start how to scale faster, okay, by testing new angles and how to scale those winners, okay? Um, I'm going to talk to you about the different types of ads, okay? There's three main categories. There's cold ads, and then there's warm ads, okay? And then one thing I want to really dive into today is video ads, okay? Because they work really well for both cold and warm, okay? And then the fourth one, so maximizing your lifetime value. So this is interesting. This is something we do at tylopez.com. It's real life data, okay? Real stuff we're doing at tylopez.com. Now, what you might think is you go and buy something online and you pay $50 and that's all the company makes. But actually, if you go through, you know, most funnels, you go through most businesses, even big American brands, they actually might take your $50 order and over a year, they might make $2,000 off you, right? So uh, who here, for example, just put yes in chat, has bought more than one Ty Lopez program. Just put yes in chat if you've bought more than one Ty Lopez program. Okay, a lot of you. So what you guys did by buying more than one Ty Lopez program is you maximize the lifetime value, LTV. You see it right here, okay? <clears throat> now, by doing that, it means that the business makes more money over time, okay? And I'm gonna show you how you can apply that into your business or maybe your client's businesses, okay? And then number five is investing in the latest trainings and courses, okay? Because with ads, what I found, so I, I'm one of the biggest advertisers in the world. Um, I spoke 40 times on stage last year around the world at big events, teaching how to run Facebook ads. But I still learn from other people, right? Because everyone has different ways of doing it, different ways to set up ads, okay? And that's why I like to do these trainings to teach you guys our tactics, okay? If you go and look at ads run by Gary Vee or someone else, Tony Robbins, they will run ads slightly differently to how we run ads and I run ads at tylopez.com, okay? So I'm gonna teach you my ways, but don't think that this is the only way. There are other ways out there, okay? So, you know, always keep learning, okay? So the first one, let's dive in. Number one, we want to model what's working, okay? So if you go look at any successful entrepreneur, a lot of the time they say, you know, most of what's kind of been invented has been invented at this point, and now it's more variations of that. And you want to apply that with your Facebook ads, okay? So if you're trying to run ads in health and fitness, do you not think there's been hundreds of millions of dollars in ad spend successfully in health and fitness? There has, right? If you're trying to sell a t-shirt, do you not think other people have sold a lot of t-shirts similar to your t-shirt with ads? The answer is they have. And guess what? Those people that spent millions of dollars selling their t-shirts, they also lost millions of dollars selling those t-shirts, trying different ads, right? So instead of you going and spending millions of dollars and making some and losing some, wouldn't it make more point, more sense to go straight to the point and like kind of look at exactly what they're doing? And what they're doing now and what they're running continuously, what are their best ads? The answer is yes, right? Because you don't need to waste your money trying to figure this out if you can go and model similar brands to you that are running ads, okay? It's just kind of logical, but most people don't really think about it, okay? What they kind of think is they'll just go and randomly try it themselves without as much logic. 
and they don't kind of model success. So they waste a lot of money and they actually fail before they can even get started. And then they think ads don't work. So there's actually a way inside Facebook. Uh, you might know about it, but there's a kind of ninja tr trick on Facebook where you can go and see every single ad that has been running on Facebook by a business. Okay. So imagine if you're trying to advertise and you know, there's another big person online similar to you advertising, go look at all their ads, see what they're running and use it for inspiration. Cause I guarantee they're testing a lot. They're spending a lot of money. So it's much more sensible for you to fast track your success and go and look at what they're doing. Okay. How they're setting up the ads. So the first one is don't try and, just randomly guess model success. Okay. And I'm going to tell you actually at the end, how you can see some of our best ads I'll show you. So you can kind of model success from us too, right? Cause even if we're tylopez.com is a different space to you, you know, maybe you're in health and fitness or something or whatever you might be in. Okay. You can still look at the best ads we've structured, the headlines, the copy, everything like that, and then use that as inspiration. So number two, testing different angles. Okay. So we want to do a lot of video. I said that a minute ago and we want to use lots of like different angles to scale. Okay. If we want to spend more money and be successful on Facebook or YouTube, we don't want to run one or two ads and just say, Oh, here we go. Here's my ads. Let's hope they work. It doesn't work like that. You've got to be creative. Okay. And I did a live training on Facebook ads a, a week or two ago. Um, so, what I said there was imagine there was an ad that was winning that was called yellow fruits for weight loss. Okay. If I, if I found a winning ad called yellow fruits for weight loss, you guys in chat, tell me what ideas you would have to test different angles. How could you, if you found one ad that was yellow fruits for weight loss, what other ideas would you guys have to test different angles? How could you take that one winning ad and duplicate it multiple times? Can anyone guess or give me any ideas? I'll tell you my, my ideas, how I would take that as an advertiser. Okay. So someone said yellow vegetables, rainbow fruits, blue fruits for weight loss. Yeah. So different colors. Okay. Different images. You could try red fruits. You could try yellow drinks for weight loss and even just different copy, different copy variations. Right? So instead of saying yellow fruits best for weight loss, you could ask a question. Why is yellow fruit best for weight loss? Question mark. Okay. That would get a lot of clicks because everyone's like, wait, yellow fruit's best for weight loss. I want to know why. And they're going to click it. Okay. So, and then you could shoot videos. You could go to the grocery store, buy a bunch of yellow fruit or yellow foods and line them up on the kitchen table, shoot a video and talk about it. Okay. And I'm not saying yellow fruits are best for weight loss. I'm not saying that. I'm just like using it as a pure example. Right. But guys, think about it. You can do that. If you find an ad that's working, you can create five or 10 more ads based on it. And you're modeling success. You're abiding by your own rule, right? By rule number one is when you find one of your ads that's working, don't go and then create random, totally different ads, model it, go and create variations of that ad. Okay. And that's what we do a lot here. We don't come up with 20 million different ideas. We usually have three to five winning ads at tylopez.com. And then we create lots of variations around it. We'll take a winning video that's 20 minutes long and we'll take five minute versions and try five minute versions of that 20 minute video. We'll try take the 20 minutes and try different headlines at the top of the ad to see if they work best. Okay. So you see there, we're kind of not like trying a crazy amount of stuff. We're modeling success and we're taking different angles and just that's how we scale. Okay. So that's tip two. Tactic number three is you want a lot of different ads dependent on the audience. Okay. So for example, if I was advertising to you guys uh, at tylopez.com, you guys will know who Ty Lopez is, right? Most of you, at least maybe a few of you are randomly fell upon this zoom somehow, but most of you know who Ty Lopez is. So if Ty Lopez did a video ad to you guys on here and spent 20 minutes or 10 minutes explaining who he was and why he was successful and how he could help you, that could actually do it worse as an ad to you guys versus Ty Lopez coming on an ad for two minutes and saying, Hey guys, what's up Ty here? I want to tell you about this new thing I'm doing. I would love to see if you want to come and join me, click the link above or below and see you there. That might be a better ad to you guys, right? But if Ty did that same two minute ads, like, Hey, this is Ty. Uh, I'm doing this thing. If you want to join me, click the link above or below that might do worse to someone that has no clue who Ty Lopez is. 
right? Just think of it. So that is the different ways we advertise to different people. Now, an ad to you guys that's 10 minutes long that talks about Ty Lopez, you might actually get bored. You might be like, Ty, I've followed you for seven years. I know more about you than your mom does. You don't need to tell me about who you are and why you're successful, right? You guys know him, your fans, your followers, your members of tylopez.com. So an ad to you where he's talking about himself and his life story could actually do worse, right? But to someone that has no clue who he is, they might wanna learn about who he is before moving forward and maybe buying a program, okay? And that's why it's very, very, very important to advertise differently to cold traffic, i.e. people that don't know who you are, versus warm traffic, okay? You wanna to advertise to warm people, that's people who know who you are. You wanna to advertise to them differently, okay? Good, so you got to learn a little bit from Ty. Let me tell you the secret. This is his number one secret, how he's able to go and play with his 22 deer in the field, is he has ads that constantly work for him, right? If he wasn't making sales every day, he couldn't go and plant oats and play with a deer in the fields because he'd have to be working in the business to make sales every day. So, you know, Ty has achieved an amazing level of success and he's able to grow all these big brands and play with deer in the fields because he's got a machine that sells for him, right? He's able to run ads, two, two pages, whether it's Pier 1 eventually, it's whether it's Dress Bomb, whether it's Farmer's Cart, whether it's tylopez.com, and make those sales consistently, okay? And obviously I'm joking about the deer, but it's true, right? I'm, I'm being serious about the point that without that, if he wasn't consistently making sales literally every hour of every day, it would be hard for him to grow all those businesses, okay? You guys get that part. So I was finishing up number three, right? Point number three was different ads to different people. Hopefully you guys understood. And again, share a little of the insiders. You guys are now learning, you know, before anyone else in the world, how do we advertise differently to people like you that know Ty versus people that don't know Ty? We've never shared this before. We've never shared the previous slide, how we took a 20 minute video and cropped it around and changed headlines and advertised that video. We turned it into many variations. That's stuff we've never, never shared before. It's stuff that works. Okay. So number four, another secret here at tylopez.com. We're very, very good at it. We're very good at it with Farmer's Cart and the other brands too. I, I run them, help run the marketing there as well. And what makes us able to scale these big brands very, very fast is we're able to make more money on day one and over a 12 month period, i.e. a year, than more than other people, okay? So we can make more money on day one and over a year per sale than other people, okay? And if you can do that, either for your own business or as a coach and consultant, you can do it for other clients. You can charge them a crazy amount of money, right? You're able to charge them way more if you can make them more, more money long-term from each customer, okay? And let me give you an analogy in how big businesses do this. So what I always explain when I teach this, because this is such an important point on stage last year, I didn't teach it about tylopez.com, I just taught the concept. What's so important is even McDonald's does this, right? McDonald's wouldn't survive if they weren't able to continually sell and continually make more money per customer. So if you think about McDonald's, McDonald's is a brand that's been around a long time and it's, you know, it started with the burger, okay? But because McDonald's has operating costs, it has staff, it has advertising, if all they ever sold was the burger, they would make four or $5 per order, for example, right? But because McDonald's sells fries, a drink, a dessert, they make $10 per customer per order on average, for example, right? So what happens here is someone comes in for $4 and they leave and spend $10. So McDonald's makes two and a half times what a normal burger place would make. And obviously every burger place does that because they cottoned on 50 years ago when fast food restaurants took on. I'll tell you another industry. Type yes in chat if you've ever been on a cruise. Just so I understand. If any of you guys have ever been on a cruise, type yes in chat because you guys will resonate with me. If you've never been on a cruise before, you can thank me later because I'm going to tell you their dirty little secret, okay? So it will warn you if you ever book a cruise again. So what happens with cruise ships and everyone that said yes in chat can support me with this is it advertises as $500 for a week in the Caribbean all, all the food you want, 
a week around the Caribbean, five different places for $500. Now that's a pretty good deal. You can't go many places in the world around the Caribbean, all your hotel, all your food for $500, right? It's insane, very, very cheap. Now the problem is by the time you actually finish on the cruise ship, well, by the time you finish the order, you pay your, go to book your cruise, $500, by the time you finish it, you're probably at about $1,000 because they upsold you on a, they don't tell you that $500 is like a little box room in the middle of the ship with no windows, right? So if you want windows or even a balcony, they've already doubled the $500 at that point. Then if you want to add alcohol or you want to add drinks or you want to book a couple of excursions or you want VIP or you want internet, they're already at over $1,000, okay, from that booking. And then you actually go on the cruise and then you end up buying more excursions. You buy more Wi-Fi, you buy alcohol, you go and dine in some of the restaurants that aren't included in the, all the food you can eat. Cause it's all the crappy food, the nice restaurants that build. So you go and pay more money for those. And then, you know, before you know it, you're at $2,000 for your $500 cruise. Now they took you a $500 customer and they turned you into a $2,000 customer by the time that it's finished, right? So they 4X that, that, that sale, okay? Now get this, when you're on the cruise, they tell you to go and book your next cruise and they'll give you a discount. And then they follow up with you after the cruise. And before you know it, over 20 years of your life, you've spent $40,000 with that company. So your lifetime value, you came in the front door as a $500 customer, and over 20 years of your life, well, they made two grand from you right away on the first cruise or purchase. And then they made 40 grand off you over the next 20 years of your life because you went on a cruise every year, right? Which a lot of us do. So just type yes again in chat if you've been on a cruise and you agree with me. You see how they upsell you. They're master classes, you know, world class at upselling. They're better than me at doing it, right? And it's very, very true, okay? So these big brands do it. American Airlines, go and book a flight. It looks cheap. Then you pay all the taxes and fees. You pay for your bag, blah, blah, blah. Before you know it, the flight cost doubled, especially if you want exit row or a nice seat and not being stuck in the middle. You doubled how much the flight was. So every company, spirit, spirit of the master, you know, $49 flight becomes $300. They're the masters of it, okay? So if all these big American brands, biggest brands in the world are doing it, you guys should be doing it too. And you should be doing it for other businesses, other small businesses that don't know this. Okay. So think about it because what it allows you to do is make more money per customer, more profit per customer. And ultimately that allows you to pay more money per customer, which is really, really important guys. Don't miss this. Make sure you're not distracted right now. Not looking at chat, not doing on your phone in advertising. If you want to be successful, you want to be able to pay more per customer. You might think, Rudy, that's, that's backwards. Why do I want to pay more per customer? Because let me tell you, if there's five other competitors in the world advertising the same product as you, but you do what I just taught you today, you have upsells, downsells, a way to get them back in and maximize the LTV, and you can pay $90 per customer and all your other, uh, all your other competitors can only pay $50 per customer, Guess who's going to win? Remember, what did I tell you guys at the start of this chat, uh, the start of this training? Type in chat. What is Facebook? Who remembers? I, took, I said this at the start of the training. Anyone remember? Type in chat if you know what it is. An auction, right? Who wins the auction? The person that can pay $90 or the, the other four businesses that can pay $50? Tell me who wins that auction every day. It's obvious, right? The $90 guy wins that auction every day. That could be you. That could be your brand or it could be a client of yours. Okay. <clears throat> so, and the other brands might not know this. A lot of them aren't very good at it. I know that because they hire me, they pay me a thousand dollars an hour to come into their businesses and map this out for them because they're not very good at it. Okay. But let me tell you when they, you might think really a thousand dollars an hour is crazy. Well, trust me, they pay me that and might pay me 10 grand, but some businesses have added half a million dollars to their business in a month because they're already successful. They're already selling. So I kind of bolt it on and it just works. Okay. And I'm not guaranteeing or saying any of you will make anything like that revenue. I'm just giving you an example of how powerful it can be because they're already making the sale. Okay. So that's number four. Hopefully you learned something there that you can use in your own business or a client's business, right? Just put yet, yeah, just so I know, put yes in chat. If you're learning something, if you've got learn something from one of the first four points. I just want to know 
if you guys are finding this helpful or not, learning something. Okay, good, good. That's what I want. Okay, so number five, we want to invest in the latest, tra latest trainings courses. Okay, what was point number one? It was modeling success. Okay, so modeling success, you want to do that by looking at all the different adver advertisements out there. Okay, I spend half my day. I want to be looking at different ads from different competitors. I send them to my team. I'm like, this is creative. Let's do this for Ty. Like, how can we roll this out for Farmer's Cop? How could we do this for Dress Barn or Pier 1 when we get it? Okay. So what you want to always be doing is looking and learning. Okay. You want to invest in other trainings and other courses. Even I do it. Ty does it. Ty literally will get a course in our WhatsApp chat and he'll send me and he'll be like, Rudy, buy this. Let's go through it with a team and pull out something we can learn, okay? So if me, people like me, people like Ty are investing in themselves, I mean, Ty is the biggest guy on personal development, right? So all I'm trying to say here, point, point number five, is we do a lot of education internally at tylopez.com. We train our staff, we keep training, we're constantly learning, we're reading books, we're taking other courses to learn, okay? So if we're doing it, we're spending money and time to do it, Please do it yourself, guys. Don't just go on this one training today and then just think, okay, now I know what to do with ads. Like there's a lot that goes into it, okay? There's a lot that goes into running those ads, okay? So if you would like to learn all this, obviously I said point number five, it's really big. You know, point number five was learning more. And, you know, when I presented this idea of doing this training for Ty, I said, well, it's great, but you need to put a course together, Rudy, to actually... For those that want to go deeper, they want to learn all of this, they want to really see behind the scenes, they, you know, they're going to want a course, okay? So that's what we've done, guys, okay? So it's called Traffic Mastery. We just opened it. We just launched it, okay? It's very, very new. A few of you have joined. We, we kind of softly announced it over the last week. But it's just come out. And the way this works, guys, because it's really cool, it follows on the training today. So if you like the training today, and you liked that we were showing you kind of, you know, kind of hinting what happens behind the scenes. What we actually do in this is we go inside and look at our videos. We'll watch and analyze our videos. And you get to learn from me. I teach you everything on Facebook. You get to learn on YouTube. You learn from Ben, Ty's brother, who's ran his YouTube for five years, how to set up YouTube ads. And there's basically a few dozen, like 30, 40 trainings, full trainings on how to set up the ads everything like that. Okay. So let me show you this because it's really cool. Um, so this is one of the trainings. This is what a lot of the trainings are like. And I'm really excited about this as you, you can tell, because I'm a, an instructor and it's kind of my idea. So look, just listen to this. This is one of the trainings, the first 45 seconds I'll show you. It's 18 minutes long, but basically this is Ben, Ty's brother. I don't know if it's going to load. But this is Ben, Ty's brother. Okay, yeah, here we go. Hey everybody, my name is Ben Avanzado. This is my half-brother, Ty Lopez. Town is my full brother, but uh, just that's why we have different last names. Um, I'm gonna help you run YouTube ads like we did. We spent eight figures plus, made a lot of money running YouTube ads. You, you can hear this ad. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But this ad got 70 million views. This was one of our bigger ones, probably the whole thing that set off the YouTube ads in the beginning. A lot of people started running ads after this. And yeah, I've been working with Ty for 10 years, been doing marketing with him for five years. And I learned a lot on YouTube. I'm gonna share some of what I learned with you. I'm gonna start with the basics, just show you how to set up an account, what to do to get started. Good, so that's a kind of sneak peek, guys. So that is kind of the sort of stuff you're gonna learn. So we're literally taking some of our best ads in history. That's what Ben's doing in that video. I see a few of you are already in and enjoying it. And we're actually showing you how we set up the ads, why it works, and most importantly, how you guys can take that and hopefully model it for your own success, okay? How you can actually do it yourself in your own businesses or your clients, okay? So I know a lot of you asking how does it work, what's involved. Okay, so here's basically what you get, okay? So we're gonna show you how to master social media advertising. We're gonna show you the best images and videos to pick and how to use them, how to write winning headlines, Headlines is very, very, very important to running ads, okay? Start to finish, we'll show you how to set up Facebook ads, that's me. Ben will show you how to build YouTube ads, Google ads, how to pick the best audiences. It's very important you advertise to the right people. We're gonna show you our five second intro hack. If any of you have ever, 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 ever advertised on YouTube or even seen a YouTube ad, the first five seconds is what makes people click, right? When you're starting a video. 
So we're going to show you exactly how we do that, how Ty does that, okay? How to use Google Ads. Google Ads is a great tool if you use it properly. And we're at, literally going to show you step by step how we scale our accounts to crazy amounts of spend, okay? How we're able to scale them up. Because there's very few people in the world that can reach a large amount of spend. And we're going to show that and show you how we do it. Now, this is a really cool thing. And I actually prepared this myself. This part was my idea. I'm a big, big believer of modeling success, right? That was point number one in this presentation. So what I did is I literally had the team go back and it says 2020, it's actually ever. So I had the team go back and prepare the best 20 ads, the top performing ads in the entire history of Ty Lopez. And I think this is super cool. It's kind of worth it by itself, in my opinion. I was excited to see it because I haven't been with Ty Lopez for 10 years. You know, I've only been with him a year or two. So we literally take the best 20 ads in the history of Ty Lopez based on revenue and we share them with you and show you them and show you why they're successful. And then you guys can model them, right? That's the idea. And then we'll teach you video ads. I told you video ads are key. We'll teach you how to grow an email list and how to use Facebook to grow an email list, how to keep optimizing your ads. Because remember, when you start, you've got to keep optimizing, okay? How to split test. So it's really important to test different ads how to run ads for local businesses. Some of you may have a local business. If not, and you want to go and do this for other people, say, say, Rudy, this is great, but I want to do this for other people. I, I, I tell you, if you want to earn $1,000 per customer, I, I'm very, very confident you could go out there and basically you know, run ads for these small local businesses that are trying to go online. A lot of them are suffering. They're paying rent for something they can't even use and they want to go online, okay? So that's a great opportunity too. So how value is it? I mean, this is, uh, everyone has a different uh, opinion of this, but you know, we're gonna teach you lessons that have literally, we've spent tens of millions of dollars to learn ourselves, okay? Uh, you're gonna get access to me, to different teachers, to Ty, to Alex, to Ben, and we charge tens of thousands of dollars to consult and teach some of this. You're gonna see our systems and actually get some of our systems that we use to scale these multi-million dollar brands. And yeah, I mean, some people, I mean, some people do like to, to work with me and my agency, some people pay up to $150,000. Some people pay Ty even more than that, okay? But, you know, I wanted to make this affordable. I said that to Ty, Try, you know, spending money on ads, you've got to spend money on ads. So I said, let's make this super cheap so everyone can learn it and then go and apply it, okay? I didn't want to charge, I think we could have easily charged $1,000 for this training but it's not 50 grand, not 25 grand, not five grand, not even a thousand, which I think would have been fair for this training, a thousand. And if you join today before this Zoom ends, we always do bonuses, okay? Bonuses for people that act fast, okay? So you're gonna learn how to run ads for other people. I grew my agency, 50 employees. I have a very big agency. I'm gonna show you, this is all me training you here. I'm gonna show you how to run ads for other people. I'm going to show you how to land two to $5,000 consulting gigs, running ads. I actually charge 15 grand a month now. That's what I charge. But when I started, it was two grand. Then I went to five grand, then seven and a half, then 10, then 12 and a half, and now 15. So I'm going to show you, you know, you, you're more of a beginner. I've been doing this year. So I'll show you how to do two to five grand. Okay. Um, I'll show you how to become an ad expert and promote yourself as an ad expert to get clients. I built my agency to 50, 60 employees. I'm going to show you how to build an ad agency correctly. I learned a lot. And like I said, behind the scenes in our own accounts, plus weekly live training calls, okay? So you're going to get weekly live trainings, okay? So if you want to click this link, you guys can go jump in. You'll get all those bonuses that I just discussed if you join before the end of it. I mean, uh, yeah, so the link is in the chat too. It's very affordable, guys. I'm not going to hard sell you on this by any means. If you want to learn everything I taught, go ahead. I mean, it's an invaluable training. I put a lot of time and effort and energy into it. You guys can see I'm knowledgeable and genuine. You know, I don't make money from selling this to you guys. This was, uh, you know, something I think is valuable for you guys. So, yeah. So, you know, we're not going to keep this up forever, guys. This is a, something that, you know, we're going to run probably for a few days or a week or so. So head to that link, sign up. I'm going to go through some questions now. I saw some questions in chat that I'm going to get to. A few general questions because we did soft launch this to test it. We wanted to see who's, who's on this. I, know, I saw a few of you. Just if you're on it, tell me how the trainings are. I would love to know. Okay. 
So I know a few of you are on here and then we had some questions. So who's this best for? That's a common question. Okay, so yeah, Josh is on it going great. Um, so who's this best for? It's a common question. I mean, if you're trying to start your own online business or scale it, it's great for you. Or if you're trying to do consulting for other people, if you're trying to, yeah, Dominic's on it. He said, it's awesome iPhone's on it. If the iPhone's on it, guys, iPhone is on it, then you guys should be on it. Like iPhone's on it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great for guy Eric's on it. So, uh, and a couple more. Um, so yeah, who's it for? So I mean, either consultants, if you're trying to do this for other people or yourself, if you're a small business owner, you're trying to go online, you're trying to break into it and go online. It's great for you guys. Okay. If you're wanting to go online, it's now, now has never been a better time. Like I said, everyone, you know, every small business is trying to advertise. You guys can help them. Like literally you just study this for two weeks. You will be able to go into other businesses, very confident with your skills. Okay. Very, very confident and run ads for them and you'll help small businesses. Okay. It's very different to SMMA, ECS. I see some of you asking for that. Um, so when does it start? Okay. So it started last week and we're adding more modules throughout 30 days. I, I designed this course. I've been making courses for like nine years. Hopefully you guys think I'm a good teacher. I mean, I'm pretty okay. I get good, re good reviews. My Uber rating would be four and a half stars at least if I was an Uber driver, but yeah, it, the way I worked it guys is we're going to teach you different things over the, uh, over the month. Okay. So I'm starting you guys off with Facebook and some YouTube. Okay. We're then going to go into some different traffic sources, Google. Um, and then the last kind of week or 10 days is a lot of strategy stuff. It's like how to take winning ads, scale them faster, how to go from like a thousand dollars a day to $5,000 a day, how to pick the best headlines, lots of like kind of unique stuff that really is more advanced, but it's very important to scale. And obviously you're going to also learn if you want to do this for other people, how to overcome objections, selling it. I've, I've done millions of dollars in my own agency. I'm not saying you guys will do millions of dollars, but I'm saying I've sold a lot. Okay? I have I have a very successful agency, 50 employees. And during that time, I've learned a lot how to overcome objections, how to put a proposal together. So I will share that too, for some of you that want to do this for other people. Okay. Some of you are saying, I'm in ECS, should I join this? This is very different. There's like four or five modules that overlap because in ECS I did teach Facebook ads and I can't like not teach those important modules here because people are on ECS, right? You guys get that. But no, mostly it's like 90% new content. It's not a copy or anything like that for those in ECS or any other course. If you're in any other course, it's, not, it's brand new content. Behind the scenes, we're literally making this fresh every day in our ad manager. You can even see the dates on our screen shares. Okay. So do I need to be running ads? Great question. No, you don't need to be running ads. The, the idea is it's for beginners. We take you every step of the way. Now, if you're experienced, you don't need to watch the setup part. You're going to want to see our best ads ever and model them. You're going to want to see how I take accounts from 10 to 20 to 30 K a day. You're more advanced. So you can kind of skip a little, but it's designed for beginners. Okay. Online businesses only no. I would say it's um I, I would say that it's kind of like better for online businesses just because it's easier to sell online, but it's definitely not just for online businesses. If you're in person, we'll show you how to change the ads, how to target your demographic, how to call out local businesses. It's also great if you're trying to do advertising for local businesses, okay? Just Facebook, I think I mentioned already, it's Google, YouTube, all the three big platforms you guys want to master, the ones we spend a lot of money on. And then I already mentioned, how's it different to ECS or other course? Very different, right? It's like literally a full training on traffic, on running ads, okay? I mean, ECS was one of the best courses uh, out there and we did a lot of training in that. I did like 25 videos in that, but you can't physically teach everything you need for traffic in ECS because it's not about that, it's about econ, right? So, um, you know, I think this is just like an add on for those of you in ECS, it's an obvious decision because you're going to learn how to get more traffic to your website, to your store. If some of you did a Shopify store for you'll learn how to run those ads better. Okay. Why now? I mean, I discussed that a little earlier in the start. 
of the the presentation i mean i've only been working with ty a couple of years I, i'm a big traffic guy i think it's so key to being successful online and i think it's a great time you know because right now everyone's online if you want to learn a skill this year that can help other businesses or yourself it's going to be running ads online and advertising online because every literally every company like i said i don't think there's one company go find me one company out there that says rudy we want less online customers don't send us any more online customers it doesn't doesn't happen right can I do it myself? I mean, obviously you can learn everything in the course and apply it yourself. Yes. Can you do it without the course? I mean, you can go and watch YouTube clips. It's not going to be anywhere as in depth. Um, you know, it's not going to be anywhere as in depth and you're not going to see behind the scenes and all our best ads or anything like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, uh, someone in chat said, Rudy, someone is sharing me a link to enroll in e-commerce certified specialist. Is it a scam? If you want, it probably is a scam because I think we shut ECS. So if someone's sending you it, uh, I'm not sure. You have to email us. Um, I don't think it's available. I, I don't know. But questions, questions on this. Okay. So what questions do we have? How long will the course be? The course is going to be over the course. It's a month, right? But you guys, some of you will do it quicker. Some of you do it in a week or two. Some of you might take a month to do it. Okay. Cause we're kind of, it's like many courses in one because I could just teach Facebook, YouTube, Google, they're their own courses almost. So we kind of teach Facebook, you know, Google, YouTube, and then optimization and strategy that you can kind of apply to all three of them plus how to do it as a coach, as a consultant yourself, if you want to do it for other businesses. Okay. Um, what other questions do you guys have? Um, we got a couple more minutes before I got to jump guys. Remember if you sign up today, this is very special bonuses. Um, and we are going to, you know, we are going to kind of pull these bonuses and the price is going to go up soon. I don't know how long we'll run it for, but hopefully you guys like these bonuses because these are my trainings. Okay. We're going to teach you how to run ads for other people, how to land two to 5k consulting gigs. I'm actually going to share exactly how I pitch it, how I present it, what, what you should include, how to run it, literally everything. Okay. So kind of like a mini ad agency course in itself here, um, behind the scenes in our accounts. And then I think one of the biggest things is seeing our top ads in the history of Ty Lopez. Like honestly, any, any big marketer or entrepreneur would pay hundreds of dollars just to see that because it's so invaluable. It's literally millions of dollars of data, literally tens of millions of dollars of data condensed into the top 20 ads of all time. Okay. So it's pretty incredible, but yeah, guys, I, I will leave the link here. Whatever questions do we have? Um, Rudy, how long will we have access for? You'll have access for over a year. Okay. Um, what is the best time to start delegating work when you're running ads after the year ads go and become successful? Um, you know, they're ticking over their scale. That's probably when you want to delegate it. You always want to learn the concepts because you can't hire someone. It's too hard to hire someone to run your ads. If you don't know anything about it, you're going to get taken advantage of, right? Um, when do the live calls start? So the live calls are Friday starting right away. Uh, what are the questions? Rudy, I'm on ECS. Um, do I need this? You don't need it. I mean, none of you need, I mean, I, I would argue some of you need it, but none of you have to buy this, right? I'm not trying to hard sell any of you into this. Like I put a lot of time and energy into teaching this. I think if you want to learn advertising to sell online, it's one of the best courses in the world. Um, and, and I think it's probably one of the coolest courses because we're literally sharing behind the scenes stuff on tylopez.com. Like I've seen every Facebook ad course out there, uh, but none of them like share behind the scenes in a, a multi-million dollar business or in all the different, like we're sharing not just Ty Lopez, we share some behind the scenes stuff in the other brands too, Farmer's Cart, Mentorbox. Nowhere in the world does that. You can't go and look at Coca-Cola's ad accounts or Nike's ad accounts or Gary V's ad accounts, Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone. There's no training in the world that I know of where not only do they teach you, but they literally show you how they do it. Because hopefully you guys learn even some of the tips I gave you today on how we take some of Ty's ads or how we advertise differently. 
you learn more by kind of seeing real life examples, right? And it's also kind of fascinating, right? If you're a fan of Ty Lopez, then it's kind of fascinating to see like kind of a, a tour, right? It's like going to the movie studios behind the scenes, right? That's kind of how I wanted to make this exciting, not just a normal course. I wanted to kind of make it more exciting, okay? Um, <clears throat> what other questions? Uh, will the slides be available? I think mean, these slides are in the actual course, but these slides aren't public because I did share sensitive, you know, I shared some tips for Ty. Some, so you might not think some of these tips are important what I taught there, but trust me, another big advertising guy that watched this today, he would get a couple of nuggets. Could be worth a lot of money for him. Um, do we have to have Facebook business app to use the ads? No, you just have to go and set up, you set up a new ad manager. Every one of you with a Facebook profile can do that. Um, do you know how long the bonuses are going on? Well, so we have those bonuses just for today. So if you join today before we close it, then you're going to get all these bonuses. And then also guys, remember the price is gonna go up. We always do specials. That's something I'll even teach you inside this, right? You don't always wanna advertise the exact same price. You wanna reward the best fans, the warm targets, right? So this is warm people. You are all warm on here. When we start advertising this to the rest of the world, we're gonna strip some of this and put up the price. You guys get early access, happy access, cheaper, and you get a, a training from me beforehand, okay? You get a kind of test drive. So, um, what other questions? Now my chat has jumped all the way to the top. Uh, what's the name of the program? Traffic Mastery. Um, do you need video ads to do it yourself? You don't have to do video ads, no. So I'll teach you how to do static ads and video ads. I've joined, um, I mean, I, my first business with fitness business, I did over a million dollars without one video because I wasn't as good on video seven years ago. Um, so no, definitely don't do video. Just put yes in chat if you join, just so I know I can see who's going to be on the live trainings next week. Okay, good. Zion, Ashley, good. Santino, Zach, Scott, Vanessa, Catherine. Okay. A lot of you are getting in. Good. I'm excited for you guys. I'm genuinely, you guys are going to learn a lot. And, and there's a full guarantee. I forgot to say that guys, but if you click through, there is a full guarantee. Ty is very good about this. I'm very good about this. Um, there's a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. Okay. So you guys are going to be able to go through the trainings, you know, as long as you don't take advantage and just refund it because you're not a good person. If you genuinely don't like it, it's fine, you know? Um, okay, good. A lot of you and Catherine, Scott, Annette, Ben, Eric, Michael's in, John's in. Okay, you guys made good decisions. I'm excited to train you. Right, guys. Well, I got to jump off. Carlos is in. Good. I got to jump off. I hope you enjoyed today. Every one of you that's on here, I'm excited to train you in future and I'm excited for you to learn from me. You're going to learn a lot from me, Ben, Ty's brother, who I showed you that example. That video alone, you guys watch that video. It's 18 minutes. It blows your mind when he teaches you how that, that ad had a billion impressions, a billion. That's insane. There's not many ads in the world that a billion impressions. That here in my garage one, you guys know it. 60 million views. Ben breaks it down. It's 18 minutes. It's fascinating. You guys, if you get in, check that out. It's, it's good. And he teaches a lot more too. He, today he uploaded and filmed. Um, it was like 12, the 12 best things for YouTube advertising. And I'm not, I do some YouTube. I'm more of a Facebook guy. I watched it as insane. So yeah, like Catherine said, it's very insane value. It is honestly guys, because this is advanced stuff. This isn't like how to build a website or how to build an exit pop-up or how to get an affiliate or how to upload something on Amazon. This is like really high level stuff. People pay thousands of dollars for Facebook ads. Okay. Right guys. Well, I hope you, uh, someone's asking the link for that video, the video I'm on about with Ben is in the course. I was just showing an example above. But right, guys, I'm excited for you. If you're not joined yet, go to that link right after this. Make sure you guys get in. A lot of you are going to decide to get in over the next week, 
we all know that because we're going to email you. So why wouldn't you join today when it's cheap and you get the bonuses? Just think about that because you've probably done this before, been on a call, didn't end up joining, ended up joining a few days later and you paid more. So don't do that again. <laughs> okay, learn, learn from your mistakes, right? Take action. It's only a couple hundred dollars and there's a refund there. So you guys are pretty safe. And I, you know, there's a lot of us teaching too. It's not just one person. You get a good mix, right? So, right. Click the link, join. I will see you in there. I will see you on the live training. Tell me how the modules are. You can find me on Instagram and give me feedback. I want to see how successful you guys are. Um, I'm excited for you. And yeah, I'll see you guys more in some of the trainings. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. We just put the link back in one more time and I will see you all soon.